Guys, welcome to the end credit. Um, this is the last part that I want, you probably are looking for. If you're trying to look for drama, leave. <laughs> leave. Um, I looked at it in my video, and it was actually 17 minutes. The one I just did. That's 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 a no no. So I'm gonna cut this even shorter. Uh, one, I did love the guild. Two, I did love the alliance. Three, to protect the players, I did dis destroy this, and you can actually read it. Um, basically. Um, there was there was this announcement, but before this announcement, there was this this part right here. I was called in. I told I explained myself in one of the situation that was a huge drama or something like that. And then I told them, hey, if they have zero policy, um, kick me out of the guild. And you can actually read it over here. So then I, we got this news over here, and he actually put a warning for everybody, which everybody should read that and follow. Uh, and I though I didn't get to join. And the lines before i have read rules everywhere i hear rules all the times and i jot these down so majority of the rules is do not gather in the territory if if you see even if even if your heart is on the right place if you see a 6.3 7.3 leave it alone it's not yours follow the rules and this is the reason why i'm gonna tell you right now i'm gonna i put some four rules of mine why these should be followed one if i can break the rule somebody else can some random person or anybody else can break the rule and the and then the fucking whole system crash down two drama breaking the rule can create a massive massive drama and this is what happened over here it was a huge amount of drama so we what we wanted to do is drop the drama down and 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 and, and not break the rules that's just don't break the fucking rules which i made a, a mistake back then and that and even though my heart was in the right place doesn't fucking matter i broke the rule i should have been kicked out of the guild but again i do not know the first second third offensive of it if they have zero tolerance but i did took a screenshot of three of the rules before i left the guild quickly um the person of three the person may be me uh yeah the fame is important for their personal gatherer in the territory. It can give them a lot of fame so they can actually get higher spec. Again, number four is the same thing. If you get higher spec, they may be able to get more out of that. Even though it was going to disappear, it doesn't fucking matter. Just leave it alone. Um, so actually, I'm just going to close it down like this. And then what I did after I saw a note in here, 
this automatically means that it might probably my guild leader got in trouble uh, for this for what I did. Um, so I just what I did I immediately I went to one of the territory in Ashburn Quarry. I picked up some of the stuff in here. I went really quickly drawn into the uh, guild. I deposit everything that I picked up, and then I, after that, I think right around here, I went to the guild's um, bank for an apologies. I gave them two hundred thousand silver. Deposit that. Looked over here just to make sure it was two hundred thousand, not two mil. Two hundred thousand. One time I gave one hundred thousand, but that was for somebody to. I pay someone's monthly pre, uh, pre, uh, stay in here, and that's actually in the rule. But again, that was taught to me by Darth Magus, but it was—I never read it. And I literally just recently joined the alliance, which was today, when uh, when someone told me to find the person to talk, speak to the officer because I didn't have the alliance cord. So I got there, and I pretty much left. That's what I did. I left. Uh, I left, and I started talking and helping uh, players out in my Discord when they give question, which they should do it over here, not in in personal. But I, he asked me questions, and basically, I, I give him the answer. So here's the thing: is the guild put whatever? I don't know what the hell's wrong with this now. Um, the guild put whatever rules in there, uh, and whatever rules they put, you need to follow it. I am not going to read this with you because that is why I got 17 minutes. But please read, uh, uh, look at it. This. This is how the rules should look like. It's beautiful. I didn't get the chance to read it uh, uh, before. I got the chance to read it when I was making this video, when I made the 17 minute video. So I got to see everything, but look at everything in here. And I actually was wrong on the claiming aspect. If someone helped it kill it, um, which I probably have to be jumping in there. If someone helps you kill it, they can gather it with you. Um, if you if you gather and you, and you soul kill it, no one can touch that. <clears throat> And if someone didn't participate, they can ask to <coughs> to help gather or, or gather with you. But if they say no, no means no. So if this is the rule. Read it. Uh, this is the second rule. Read it. Because to be honest with you, right here, this one, I think this is the one why uh, Derek from Money Guild started kicking player out. Um, some people didn't help him uh, when the GVG to, to move their gear from, from that place. He got killed and lost pretty much everything. Um, again, read this, which is important. Because this is the reason why I, I didn't bring my boy Berserker. I told him you, you're gonna get killed. Not because I read this; it's because I already know that in some areas I can't I can't go in and say, "Hey, man, friendly. This guy's friendly." No, just not all guilds work like that. Some guilds may say, "Oh yeah, it's fine. I'm fine. You guys can go ahead and play, uh, uh, do some random dungeons together and stuff like that." Not everywhere. In here, don't party very easily. And here is some of the things that you can actually read. And these rules are usually 90% out there. And the reason why I'm giving you these rules is so that you know that you will get into something like this 90% of the time of the top guilds who has, um, not even top guilds, like guilds, a big guilds, big alliance who has black zone territories and stuff. They have to have a standard rules. They have to have infrastructure for that. And they have to follow it no matter what. If you broke the rule, no favorism. Um, if you did bad something bad and, and they say no zero tolerance get kicked again I did saw it for a quick second. Uh, there was actually a tolerance the first one was a warning and then the second time um, Basically, uh, uh, I would have gotten kicked out of the guild or if I don't get kicked out of the guild My guild would have got kicked out of the alliance. So do follow the rules guys do not fuck up with that shit And that's it. That's it for the video. But, oh, lastly uh, the guild this guild is fucking awesome if I, I advise you to join them, they're really, really nice people, like hell of nice people. In fact, the girl that I, uh, I spoke to, which I do have the recording of me spoken to her back and forward uh, uh, about this issue and stuff like that. That person was fucking nice as hell. And that was from another alliance, from not, basically, like, sorry, not another alliance. That was from the same alliance, another guild, basically. And it was fucking awesome. These people are like, really fucking great. I do advise if you if, if you want to look for a guild, uh, DD14, I think it was. Uh, mine, my, mine seems the best. But again, I did talk to someone else in other, in another. In, in this alliance some other guild and they were fucking amazing so i do advise this alliance and this guild if you guys are trying to uh get your foot footing uh in albion online and that's pretty much it you guys take care and i'll see you